Okay guys, welcome to my channel. I am super, super pumped to talk about SYPR, the stock. So that's going to be Cypress Solutions and why it's soaring today. But as always, I always like to show a little meme, just something to talk about, kind of break the ice. So for this one, it says when the stock market is closed, this is what I look like. And literally every weekend, I'm just waiting for Monday at least for where I live at 830 for the market to open if you can relate at all please subscribe and smash that like button I really do appreciate it let's go ahead and get started so with SYPR the stock why auto parts play Cypress solution is soaring today so that's what we're gonna be talking about and that's gonna be with the SYPR what they did is they won a defense contract okay so that's what the catalyst was okay so if you look if you look right now on the stock and just watch it rise you're gonna see that that's the whole reason right so I'm just gonna read you a little bit just to kinda get some information so according to the new release from the company this award is for Cypress Electronics which is subsidiary of the Cypress Solutions SYPR also notes that this is a follow-on award for a prime contractor of the US Department of Defense so that's it. like I said that is the catalyst okay so the contract will have Cypress Electronics manufacturing and testing electronic power supply modules these modules will be used in a mission critical long-range precision guided anti-ship missile system okay that's a mouthful but that's pretty sweet so the missile system in the contract is able to pick out specific targets for attack that includes individual ships among a fleet this is possible due to the advanced tech that doesn't heavily rely on intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance platforms and GPS navigation in contested environments so that's pretty sweet so that's the catalyst let's dive a little bit deeper into the company themselves and see what the stock price is and we'll just go from there okay so also I want to kinda um, feed off of what I was saying earlier so it was announced today of that contract but specifically they received orders for its tube turns D-bolt and tool list specialty closures for use in high pressure oil and gas applications including the anchor field development project in the Gulf of Mexico and the plan upgrade of natural gas pipeline system in North America production for both awards will begin immediately and are expected to be to be completed prior to year in terms of this purchase were not disclosed the initial development of the project will require an investment of 5.7 billion dollars and uh, it's a stage one of the anchor field development consists of seven well okay so first what I want to do is kinda of look at the history of Cyprus from June up to today just kinda of giving you a little backstory of Cyprus on what they've been up to to this point so on June the 9th 2020 you have Cyprus and Cy cyber security okay August the 11th 2020 Cyprus wins contract with Leonardo DRS all right, so then you got September the 18th, Cyprus wins multiple defense contract awards. So clearly, as you can see, they continue to just get contract after contract. So then you've got a little bit further up, and that's going to be news of today. So right before that, new production introduction. So I guess that's going to be the start of the development and design of the test changes right so then you've got today with the new contract with the defense and so as you can see just within six months they're already a little over six months they're already continuing to build contracts right so let's kind of continue to dive a little bit deeper okay so the first thing I, I kinda wanna point out is Cypress Electronics has an extensive work history with fortune 500 customers right and they're focused on you know business on product applications that must work in demanding environments okay so that's that's understandable when it comes to oil and gas 
aircrafts and whatnot right so I click on the solutions right on their web page and they've got all sorts of different type of testing right so they do reliability and environmental testing process testing circuit testing um, and so the reason why I bring this up or why does that even matter well if you actually look at the market they've got defense space medical undersea and industrial so if you're doing all these types of testing clearly that allows you to continue to expand your company when you're in these different types of sectors and so you're always going to have something to do you're always going to have a product to test especially in these type of industries right okay so I pulled up thinkorswim and I kind of wanted to do a small analysis on the chart with this stock okay so the first thing I want to look at and what I like to always do is a year ago today it was at 93 cents okay then you kind of fast forward to March the 23rd 25th 26th and you're gonna see the low was 54 cents so maybe it lost 50 percent which I mean that's understandable with what went on last year and if you continue to follow the chart you can slowly see each time the company got a contract it shot up right so on the um, July the 28th you see that it opened up at 72 cents coming down I mean higher than the 54 cents right with then on that day a high of two dollars and fifteen cents so then if you continue to fast forward you'll see it continues to get the contract it spikes up right so now as it continues to grow and the company continues to get more jobs it it continues to rise right so I kinda want you to see that and then if you break it down a little bit further you look at the beginning of February you're open up at like three dollars and seventeen cents with a high of three dollars and ninety okay then today it shoots up all the way of a high of seven dollars and eighty nine cents and that's gonna be the hype of that catalyst of getting this new defense contract now if they continue to get more contracts in the other sectors such as medical if they can continue to develop engineering tools their company is only going to continue to grow so I wanted to point that out for you okay so now with Cypress Solutions or SYPR currently when the market closed it's at five dollars and six cents what I wanted to do was kinda backtrack a little bit at five days just so you can kind of see that it was hovering around three dollars and forty cents and as soon as that catalyst opened up it shot up as we talked about right so the 52 week high for those that like numbers is seven dollars and eighty nine cents its previous close was two dollars and sixty cents and the 52 week low was fifty four cents okay so that's a huge wide range right so if you're trying to do options that's something to think about are you gonna do some puts are you gonna do some calls on it or do you believe in the company and you feel like okay they've been around since 97 they are gonna only continue to grow and maybe develop maybe at a slower pace and I wanna do long term right so for me this is an options play um, it's got a market cap of only 104 million with a PE ratio of 52.48 so for me personally as soon as I see something like that skyrocket up I'm just gonna do a uh, quick put um, but at the same time I'm not a financial advisor this is just what personally I would do you still have to make your own decision but as you can see cyber solutions has been around a long time I mean if you look at their history I mean in 1994 um, it was at $41 and as you can see it's continued just to slowly drop I mean just drop on I mean at the bottom and so yes these catalysts have shot it up is it all hype I mean that's kind of what the analysis that, that I personally have seen um, but with that being said I would always do your own due diligence and to find out some more information 
but I just want to kind of show you that. That way you're kind of aware of the overall, um, you know, the insides and outs of this company. So hopefully this is kind of helping you out and that you can continue to make a better decision. Okay, so again, I hope this helped you out. I hope some of this information will, again, allow you to make a better decision. Guys, please subscribe. I really welcome you to the family. Um, I just want you to say, show you that SYPR did close, by the way, at 90%, um, which is incredible. At one point, I believe it was at 137%. So just imagine if you would have basically, you know, put a, a decent amount in. Um, but please subscribe. Tell me what you think of this company. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue to do more of a technical candlestick analysis. Um, I really do appreciate you taking the time to just sit in. Um, I'm really excited about this channel and I want to continue to grow it. So just give me some feedback and let me know what you think. Um, SYPR can, again, it can be, you know, do you want Cypher Solutions to be a long term hold or short term day trading? Do you want to do options? It's up to you. But just leave me some feedback. Tell me what you think. I'm super excited. And again, I really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys.